morning. There is no end in sight to the current political standoff over the Lokpal bill. Anna Hazare's health seems to be deteriorating as well. No one is willing to give an inch. So the impasse may persist till there is meeting on the anti-corruption bill. The opening today is likely to be bright one with most world markets on a firm footing. US stocks benchmark closed up for a third successive day. The European counterparts did even better. Most Asian equity indices are up as well. But don't take anything for granted as today is FNO expiry and there may be a few wild swings. For the Nifty, the key support in the immediate future is 4,850. On the other hand, 5,200 could be a major resistance. FIs continue to be net sellers in the cash segment while the DIIs were net buyers. Meanwhile, gold has lost some of its shine with the New York futures dropping over 5% overnight. Spot gold lost 3.8% overnight. CME has hiked margins on trading at its COMEX unit for second time this month. Markets are keen to hear out Fed Chairman Ben Banake on Friday. Some expect him to announce QE3, but whether Banake will oblige or not is a mystery as of now. FIs were net sellers of Rs 8.83 billion in cash segment on Wednesday, according to the provisional NSC data. The domestic institutional institutions were net buyers at Rs 5.61 billion on the same day. FIs were net buyers at Rs 19.38 billion in the FNO segment. The foreign funds were net sellers of Rs 717 million in cash segment on Tuesday as per the SEBI website. Mutual funds were net buyers at Rs 1.19 billion on the same day. Moving on to our recommendations, the technical calls for the day are We advise buying HDFC Bank above Rs 456 with a stop loss placed at Rs 447 and for the target price of Rs 474. We advise going short on Dana Bank September futures below Rs 82 with a stop loss of Rs 84 and target price of Rs 78.